weather on NBC10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. So I've been thinking, if we put handles on this, would it be like a pummel horse? This I want to see you do it. <laughs> yeah, I want to see both of you yeah. guys do it. I got four years to practice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is neat you? to see the younger generation start up there, right? I mean, that's always awe-inspiring. Uh, back to sunshine. Warmer days ahead, too. The thunder returns. I'm waiting for you to do it during the commercial break. Just do it, Glenn. Just do it. Slightly less humid, too, by late week. That dip is just minor. Today and last night, really, we had the waves of rain coming up through the islands and also into Rhode Island, also near Buzzards Bay. That's where we garnered most of our rainfall. It did take off quite a bit as you went up through Mansfield with our weather spotter there, three tenths of an inch and some spots less than a tenth. And where we needed it across northern Mass, southern New Hampshire, we did not get a whole lot. This is where it's a little bit dry too, but we've had a pretty good summer, so I'm not, you know, getting into that bandwagon about us being in a drought, but that's how they start, obviously, on a dry spell that just gets more and more intense. 67 right now in Boston. Our temps are right around that number just about anywhere. A little bit warmer in Cape Cod. We're in the upper 60s through Greater Worcester, too. Visibility is coming down a little bit in New Bedford and also on the Vineyard. And back to Worcester as the fog sets in. I think more of that will be coming because our temperatures are right near the dew points. And when those two numbers meet, that's when you create fog in this kind of setup, at least. And some nights you create dew. That's why it's called a dew point. Now, later this week, this is the dip, the minor dip in the dew points that brings in that slightly drier air. Then it's back up as we go into the weekend. The humidity will be surging once again. We have our upper level low that sponsored those showers and all the clouds today. Pretty Pretty interesting to see it spiral all the way through Quebec City and back through New York State. But there's another one that's tucking in right underneath it. It's delayed a little bit tomorrow, so we get a dry day for the most part. There's a slight chance that we pop up a shower. Otherwise, it's back to summer and temps are near 90 degrees in Lowell and back through Haverhill. 88 in Natick and 86 in Attleboro. Boston about 86 degrees too. Wednesday, then the numbers come down a little bit thanks to the cloud cover and more showers. Now watch out. These are not going to be intense storms that pop up, but they will be water loaded. So they'll have plenty of rain if you get caught underneath one of those. And there's a pretty good chance you do on Wednesday with a 70 percent chance. They will produce a lot of runoff later in the week. It dries out and then we go into the weekend. And, oh no, storms popping up. This does not seem like a washed out day. Either day at this point, we're just going to have to be mindful of the storms that form. And right now, 50% chance of developing what? You look in there in that circle and there's nothing growing in there, right? There's no storm just yet. But give it time. It's right behind me. Here it is in a couple of days. There's something there, right? Spiraling in, getting closer to the Bahamas, and then eventually maybe taking aim for the eastern seaboard. This will be into next week. But what it does and what all tropical systems do or mess up the forecast in the 10 day. You can see that on Monday, Tuesday. Now that's looking less humid and warm, but eh, we'll have to see how it plays out after Sunday. But the weekend, that is a more confident forecast. Pop up storms, beware. And some of the 80s are back after the break.